Robert Monakin, the one we call Machete. What's going on, bro? Not much, man. Just keep keeping my my, my uh, conditioning, staying 100 percent mentally, physically, and, and you know, I mean, the fight's about a week and a half away, so it's just around the corner. We're, we're ready. Now you just went. Uh, you sparred, you know, a lot of rounds right now with Jose Loco Hernandez. You cut him up pretty bad, and uh, you, you worked the mitts. You did about a good ten rounds. Yeah, man, you're looking ready, man. How do you, how you feeling right now? I mean, I feel strong, man. I mean, I mean, just to get up in the in the ring with uh, with a local, I mean, you gotta be at 100 percent, man. I mean, Hernandez is one one of the strongest guys at 130, 135 pounds, and and I mean, you could ask the rest of the guys uh, that top rank has matched matched him with. Yeah, that's uh, true. You know, it's I mean, he's, he's gone through some battles. You know, most of the fights that people actually lost were pretty, you know. Uh, to me, I mean, I, I thought he pulled them. Controversial, yeah. Very controversial. Uh, I just, I just think he's one of the best out there, 130 pounds. He just needs to stay focused up in the gym and keep training. Hey, yeah, for but, sure. Uh, you know, I mean, it ain't nothing, not nothing easy to be up in the ring with him. All right, for yeah. sure. Now, uh, you know, you just went sparring. You know, you got your fight coming up on Saturday. You ready for that? Absolutely, man. We've been ready. Um, you know, it's my longest training camp that I've had in, in my professional career, and you know. I'm just ready to get up in the ring and get it over with, really, you know. Now, earlier you were saying uh, Rigondeaux still up in the air, but if not, it's going to be Oscar uh, Gonzalez, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've, they've given me so many names out there, you know. Um, they threw Oscar Gonzalez, then Alejandro Lopez back to Oscar Gonzalez. And, you know, they're still worried that Rigondeaux might still be in the picture. Uh, but to be honest with you, I really don't know what, what the final outcome is going to be. Um, I'm hoping Rigondeaux comes, comes into play, but, you know, I mean, you know, I've, my dream is to become a world champion, and you know, if my opportunity uh, comes with R Rigando, be the best uh, opportunity that I, I will get. You know, Rigando is the best 122 pounders in my opinion, uh, and defeating him will be the, the greatest accomplishment. You know? Hey man, like you said, man, legend in the making. But regardless, if you fight Rigando or not, um, you're still gonna be on a pay-per-view card, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. We'll either we'll be the first or second bout of the evening, and well, on pay-per-view. I think you'd be second because Mike Lee will be first. Yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. Hey, man, well, regardless, man, uh, of this, you're still going to be fighting. You know, your name was mentioned up there, 122. So not now, you just turned 23, so going forward, man, 122 better be ready, right? Absolutely, man. You know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge 122-pounder. You know, the rest of the guys are pretty small. That's true. You know, I'm, I'm Look at him right there. You can see it, 122. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, we're strong. We're mentally ready for for the fight whoever it is you know uh but you know all right you cool know, we got so much ahead of us that you know if it's not not this uh upcoming week it'll be sometime in the in 2013. sure for sure for sure man well we'll keep it short man you know i'm a big fan of Manon king sure and we've been him. calling him machete lately because he's been cutting up everybody he spars <laughs> and as you can see he got blood on him from when he cut up somebody earlier today man anybody anything you gotta say to the fans out there well i just want to say uh thank thank you all you know for the awesome support a shout out to true boxing heads you know that they show me some love on twitter you know i already started getting that twitter thing going on you know it's pretty uh i would i'm, not, I'm just not used to it you know? i'm not used <laughs> you, to you it, new you know? to it yeah nah, i started my girlfriend like why would you get that well you know it's just it's all uh, good. With, with the athletes and hey man, it's 2012, man. You gotta get with it, man. Go ahead and give him that Twitter, Mano King. Well, you can catch me at at Team Mano King, and um, you know, uh, I try to be posting stuff every day, if not every every um, every now and then, you know. But I just gotta get used to it, like you were saying. Yeah, well, there it is, man. That's the homie right there, Roberto Mano King. Y'all make sure to check him out. September 15th, Chavez Martinez undercard, undercard 122. There he is. Look at that beast.